Hello everybody and welcome to this here video on uh, uh, Fallout 4 or you know what this whole video mainly is going to be about is Bethesda and how it is confirmed that Bethesda is making a new video game this year for 2015 and it is a big title so the first thing I want to talk about is Fallout 4 so uh, they have they're having their convention at PAX South and, um, as you can see, there's the dates down here at the bottom. And, uh, so what's, what's today? We, what's today? Today's the 11th, so it, it's only a couple more days until, uh, what is it? It's 12 more days until, uh, PAX South for their, Bethesda is having a little convention booth there and it's going to be very interesting to see what they do and uh, a lot of people say that it's going to be Fallout 4 as it is Fallout 4's turn if it keeps going every two three years this year would be Fallout 4's turn but this video is going to be mainly on whether or not I think it's Fallout 4's turn and um, in my opinion there are four major games that can be released by Bethesda and two of them are going to be released one of them is a thousand percent positive, and then the other three are gonna have to have a fan war about in the comic in the comments because we have way too much proof that any of these could be coming. So as we, uh, the reason why this is so you know suspicious that Bethesda has to be doing something is not because they're having a booth at PAX, it's because they're also having a booth at E3, the entertainment convention. This is one of the first times, I think it actually is the first time, Bethesda has ever had a presentation at E3. And E3 presentations are big. This is where Sony and Microsoft does their presentation. So they have to have something to show there. So y you know that it has to be a good big titled game if they're going to sit there for hours showing their audience, you know, what's coming in Bethesda's line of work. And uh, I myself am very excited about this. I love Bethesda. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, that is my favorite game, my second favorite game, my first ever one is TAC, that's not made by Bethesda, but I love, I love the Elder Scrolls, I love Fallout, and I love Dishonored, I love Doom, I love, I love their game series, Bethesda just makes the best games, and the thing is, people say that Bethesda can make a lot more games than they do at a time. And it's true, they're a big company. But what they do is they focus all their sections on one game, like Skyrim. They focused everybody on that one game. Whereas what Ubisoft does is they split off their people. So you work on Assassin's Creed Unity, you work on The Crew, and you work on Far Cry 4. And then Far Cry 4 is the only game that's good out of those three because they all were all focusing on three different games. Uh, Bethesda, on the other hand, is a much more professional company, in my opinion. I love Bethesda. If you've never played a Bethesda game, you need to go check it out. Same with Valve. Valve and Bethesda are revolutionary gaming companies. Whereas, um, I really am losing my hope in Activision. Activision made Black Ops 2. I'm losing my hope in that, and I'm also losing my hope in Ubisoft. So Bethesda and Valve, you got to make the new year great. And uh, so uh, let's go on to uh, this right here, Fallout 4. So do I think that they're making a Fallout 4 opposed to a Elder Scrolls 6? And no, if they do make an Elder Scrolls 6, I do not believe it is going to be Argonia. I do not believe that it's going to be set in this place called Argonia. I do believe that it's going to be set in the place where the Snake Men are from. And I don't know their actual name. It's like calling the Khajiits Catmen. But, you know, there's Snake Men in Skyrim. And they weren't in any other games. They're just written about and, you know, talked about in the online game. Which don't even get me started about that. But, uh, yeah, um, I, it's like this, it's two whole continents. And if they use the power of the next-gen systems, they can make it happen. It's, it would be huge. So, um, speaking of... Uh, Elder Scrolls Online. Let's talk about that for a second. So, the reason I don't think that they're going to make another Skyrim so time Skyrim Elder Scrolls so time soon, and I do think that they're going to make a Fallout 4 before they make the next Elder Scrolls is because Elder Scrolls Online is still an Elder Scroll game. 
even though it's the worst Elder Scroll games, and it is definitely not a fan favorite, it is still an Elder Scrolls game, and Bethesda considers it as one. Therefore, Elder Scrolls just had its turn a couple, you know, couple months ago. Now it's time for Fallout. As it's been three years for Fallout, that's usually the space that it takes for, uh, you know, professional Bethesda game to come out three years at a time. It's Fallout. It's Fallout's turn. It's just simply put it like that. And I do not think it is going to be taking place in Boston. I think it's going to be somewhere else, and it's going to surprise us, and it's going to be a great game. Because you know Bethesda, they're they're amazing. Like I said. So uh, that being said, this picture here shows them in Washington. I don't think that they're going to be in Washington D.C. Um, I also don't think that that's going to be the title, the little picture for the title that Fallout with like the the lightning bolt and then the four. Usually that's what they do, but I don't think it's going to be that this year because I do think that they're going to make a Fallout 4. Whereas Elder Scrolls, I do not think that that is coming out this year. Within a three-year time period, we'll see another one, and it will be great, though. And um, I do think that they will have a title somewhat like this, only it will not be set in Argonia. Now, that being said, they might not even make a Fallout 4, you know, because there's another very big game title that they're working on, um, and that there is not Dishonored, but Doom. I'll show you what I meant with the Dishonored in a second, but Doom is another huge video game line, and Doom 4 is simply just called Doom. The trailer for Doom, or Doom 4, was released, and... It's a thousand percent confirmed. It just doesn't know. We just don't know when it's coming out. So assuming that it comes out this year, which it more than likely will, we're going to have Doom 4. And I don't think that it's just Doom 4. They can't fit all of Doom 4 in one little E3 press conference. It's going to be Doom and something else. And what do I think that something else is going to be? Dishonored 2. Now, this here is a quote-unquote leaked image, as a Twitter user said that she got a random uh, email sent to her with the title Dishonored to E3 2014. She said when she opened it up, it had this here logo, the Dishonored 2, uh, witnessed the full reveal at E3 2014. Uh, it's 2015 now, but, you know, you, you know how it is, like... A year is not a very long time apart, so, you know, that could very be, uh, like, plausible that it's coming at 2015. As we can see here, the hashtag, Darkness of Tivia, and Tivia is the place where the uh, Tivian red wine comes from in Sky, in, uh, Dishonored, as we see it two times in the game. Uh, the first one, Overseer Campbell, Campbell, he tries to poison that guy with it, and then you could switch the poison or do whatever. And then there's another time when you capture this painter, uh, I forgot what his name was, but, um, something. I think it starts with an S. And, uh, you could either release the rats on him or bribe him with, um, a Tivian red, uh, wine. And that is, you know, Ativia is the island that makes the Ativian red wine. So, there we go. That being said, that Dishonored, this could be a very fake. This is obviously the Dishonored logo with two little tallies next to it. This could be so fake it's unreal. But do I think it's fake? No. I actually honestly think that if they were to make another Dishonored game, it would look like this. Only that TM above the D... That would not be there. That would be right after the two. Right after the two marks. You want to know why? Because Dishonored 2 is going to be a whole other title. Not just Dishonored. That there could, if you remove the two tally marks, it could just say Dishonored TM. And she could have edited everything else at the bottom. And then, you know, replacing that TM at the end, you know, that, that looks more official in my opinion. So, that being said, I do think that the two games that are going to be revealed this year, because yes, I am almost positive that it is going to be two games this year, is Doom 4. Doom 4 is certain, but I think that the second... We we have a thousand percent confirmed Doom, Doom 4, so Doom fans be happy. And then the second one, I think, is going to be Dishonored 2. I do not think that they are going to make a Fallout 4 this year or a Elder Scrolls 6. 
if they do make either a Fallout 4 or an Elder Scrolls 6, it is going to be Fallout 4. There's no possible way they are going to make an Elder Scrolls 6. It's just going to look like they're trying to make up for the uh, Elder Scrolls Online, and they don't want to do that. You know, it's they want to make it more professional. They want to keep that Elder Scroll Online name out of their company now that it did so bad. So they're totally going to either do let's let's narrow it down to 30 now so we have doom 4 which is a thousand percent so now let's la no, uh, narrow it down to two dishonored 2 fallout 4 uh leave in the comments what you think it's gonna be uh fallout 4 or dishonored 2 my personal opinion is going to be dishonored 2 and doom but uh you know you oops sorry about that guys <laughs> you saw my little background there for a second it was in fact uh there we go. Yeah, I have all my stuff opened up here. So now you can just check out my uh, my screensaver and see what it's all about. Anyways, back to this. Uh, so yeah. I do think that it is going to be Dishonored 2. And I hope it is Dishonored 2. And whatever they do, I will support them and I will love them because... Let's be real now. Fallout fans, Elder Scrolls fans, Doom fans, and Dishonored fans alike. If they made any of these four games it would still be a great year I love the Fallout series they are amazing I love um, Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas to death they are amazing games whereas the Elder Scrolls don't even let me begin that game is endless amount of fun and I lost nearly uh, a year and a half to this game playing just this game day after day after day I don't even watch YouTube. I would just come home and play it and play it and play it. I this was all this was life, okay? And then Doom, I really do like Doom. I think Doom has to be the late, the least favorite out of all four of these games for me. But um I would still love to play the new Doom, Doom 4 when it comes out for you guys on YouTube, so leave in the comments if you want to see that. Also leave a like if you want to see that. Now we're going to go over here to Dishonored. Dishonored is my second favorite game for the Xbox. Skyrim, uh, Skyrim being the first one. So, making a Dishonored 2 would just make me so happy, because it got to the point where I did the Dishonored speedrun on Xbox for you guys, and I was thinking, you know, it's like, every single time I play through Dishonored, I'm like, this is probably the last time I'm ever gonna play Dishonored, you know? I've gotten all that I can out of this game. And then, you know, a couple months later, I'll find myself going back to play Dishonored, because it is endless amounts of fun. You know, there are only a couple levels, and it's a very quick game, but, you know, just replaying it and replaying it and replaying it, it is so much fun. Uh, same with Hitman Absolution. I would absolutely love... Uh, I loved Hitman Absolution. I don't care what anybody says. That was a great game. And I would love for the makers of Hitman to make another Hitman game, as Hitman 6 is rumored, so hopefully that comes out. Uh, it's either 6 or 5 that's coming out. I think it's four, actually. It might be four. Alright, whatever. This is, this is about Bethesda, not, not Hitman. So, um, here we go. Here's your... Let's say that I'm right, and it's Dishonored 2 and Doom. Here are your two big games of 2015 right here. So, uh, in the end, Bethesda Studios, whatever you have planned, if you're watching this video... Just keep in mind, if you do make um, Fallout 4, just please make it, like, you know, a little more crowded of an area. Make huge cities, you know, not like the Strip. Like, the Strip was good, but bigger cities, you know, big skyscrapers that you can go in, functional cities that, you know, survivors have made, and then, you can, you know, you could turn a war on two big cities, and then... Take, for example, here, Skyrim. If you're making a new Skyrim game, those random events, like people running up to you and saying, here, hold my boots, I'm being chased. You know, hold on to them for me, or go kill this bandit. Just make sure that there's a wider variety. Just make sure that the players really feel immersed in it. Uh, for Doom, just keep doing what you're doing. You know, just don't change Doom. Just keep doing it, and the Doom fans will like it. And for Dishonored 2, my, let us... Let us create a character. That would be very interesting. You know, it's a very weird concept to think of, and it might not actually work with Dishonored, but 
a character creation in Dishonored, if you think about it, could work. So, um, that is our time, but anyways, Bethesda, I hope you watch this. If you did watch this, I love you so much, and, uh, thank you viewers for watching. So that's all I have to say for now. Uh, let's hope that we get one of the new games this year, and goodbye.